Mob Town, do you feel me? I feel you. Mob Town, do you feel me? Good morning. Top of the morning, folks. It's Free Style Friday. Y'all know what that means. Pound sign. Pound sign, Free Style Friday, man. Yeah. You know this, right? We've got information for you. We've got trivia going on. We have a swag bag of rundown fabulousness for you trivia winners out there. Do we? Oh, nice. So, okay, cool. So we're going to be playing. Shirt. We're going to be playing trivia a little bit later. Apparently. We're going to do it. It's going to be great. All right. If we have, a, so we're going to do trivia no matter what. Uh, but as long as we have at least five players, we're going to be giving away the swag, right? Mm -hmm. But like, we don't want to. We don't want to keep the people that are going to watch this later in the future from the trivia questions. So we're going to do trivia, even if it's to like the silent room. We'll be talking to you, who's going to maybe even watch it later. If yeah. You're not even watching with us. And now. it's all mobile based trivia. So if you are from Mobile, you kid me not. I kid you not. You kid me not. Do you know about Mobile? You should. Mobile? Wait. It's Mobile. It's not Mobile. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just kidding. It is Mobile yeah, and right. Mobile. So we we finally uh, we finalized this yesterday. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Uh, either way is correct. Yep. Um, now no mobile and no, no mobile. Yeah. No. But if you say Mobile, yeah, or Mobile, we'll be your friend. Mobile. We're tight, we man. We like you. We're good people. We're good people. So, people. Um, I am Mandy Conkle. This is Brooks Conkle. We are the owners of the Mobile Rundown. Yeah. And we are so excited to be here with you this Friday morning. I'm a little stuck to the thing. Okay, there we go. Um, so, the Mobile Rundown, if you're not familiar with us, we tell you guys what is going on in the area. We are a connected hub of community people who want to share the things that are happening. And um, we're very excited that you guys are joining us for that this morning. We got friends um, online this morning. Allison with a little wave. We got Trey. What's up? A little rock with gang gang. Gang gang. gang I'm, I'm, I hope that's, is that positive rock? I think it is. Yeah. So gang gang. Gang, gang green? Not no, sure. not, that's not positive. That's not good. Yeah. Cool. What's up guys? Yeah. Feel free to, I don't know. Feel free to share the show if you want as we, uh, as we get going. So we'll have trivia a little bit later. So um, but we're going to chat about some stuff. Yeah. And just to remind you guys, so we're streaming live on Facebook. We're also streaming on YouTube, correct? Yeah. So our YouTube. The 2 views. The 2 views. Yes. We can. Um, we want you guys to play trivia as well. So if you're watching us on YouTube this morning, make sure you chime in. We know you're here. All that good stuff. Mm-hmm. 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 All right. What do we have first? What, what we need to talk about first this morning? I think that it is time to go ahead and announce the Yard of the Month Club. No. Yeah, it's a club. Yeah, it's a club. Alice a mix, uh, mix between oh. Mobile Fit Club and Yard of the Month. Oh, that's early. So if you guys did not know, we've been doing this. So we literally have these signs. We're running a Yard of the Month program. Why? Because too many people are not getting recognized for their awesome yards. Right? It's true. You hear what I'm saying? So I said, Dad Gummit. Dad Gummit. We're going to do our own Yard of the Month. We're going to sponsor people for Yard of the Month. So we allowed you guys the last 30 days, I guess, to um, to fill out your submissions. By the way, we're constantly taking submissions. Yes. So if you know someone who has a rocking a rocking yard and um, they need to be shown, just pop over to our website. You'll find it uh, on the homepage. You're at the top, Yard of the Month. You, you'll get there. Just go to the page, submit the person's information, and be like, hey, this person should win because of X. We have our first winners. Um, we have our first win, and we haven't done this yet. So we're I'm pumped. Yeah, you know, Mandy's like, uh, how's this operating? What's happening? Well, we're figuring this out as we go, which is part of it. She can't stand that I do that, but I love it because we're literally going to deliver the sign, and we don't have like the process of how we're going to do it. Okay. We're going to deliver the sign. Yeah. We're going to take it to them. Uh, I'm trying to decide if we're going to knock on the door or just leave our information. We don't no, know we yet. Try to knock on the door. Yeah, but what if they like, what if they don't want guests or? Yeah, you're right. We'll not. We'll not. 100% we'll not. We're awarding them. All right. So the winners are Ann and Robert Do It. Really? I believe is how you pronounce That's that. That's so exciting. Yeah. So I'm not giving their address because that would probably just, they probably wouldn't like that. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, but they live close to Municipal Park. I can tell you that. Okay. And the person that submitted for them said they did some magic to get the grass to grow because okay. apparently they had uh, like sod issues and they couldn't get the grass to grow, okay. couldn't get the sod growing. And they sprinkled some magic on it. Apparently, it looks really good. So we're pumped to uh, we are pumped to award them a yard of the month sign. I and love then it. how this works is we're hoping that Ann and Robert, if you're listening, that you guys pay it forward to the next yard. So you guys are responsible. You have a job to do here. You're responsible for I awarding like like my dad. You're responsible for awarding the next yard of the month winner. What do you guys think about this program? What do you? 
Like, what do y'all, what do y'all think? I yep, just think yep. it's so cool. David's here. What's up, David? Alan, good morning. And good morning to this individual. Hey, I don't know. User. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why it's not showing your information. It's not our fault. We didn't do it. So Rock has um, Rock has the remedy for that, by the way, just not to get off topic, but he has I think Rock can tell you how to get your Facebook user to turn into your actual name. He oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, Rock. Is this something that this person can can take action? Because we just we don't know who this is. Yeah. So we use a software to stream this live and you know, we didn't I didn't do this. I didn't say Facebook user. Yep, I yep. apologize. I, know. Know, I don't know. But yeah. anyways. Yard of the month, Anna Davis. Asia. Woo woo. Asia, we love you. All right. We're very excited for you guys, and we will get a yard sign out to you guys shortly, and we'll snap some photos, share, yep. their, share their yard with us. So um, people don't know this either. Uh, Mandy doesn't even know this. All so right. this will be a part of our micro news segment. So the mobile rundown has changed dramatically over the last six months. Why? Because of COVID. Why? Because events stopped on a dime yep. and people couldn't gather. So what did that mean? It meant that we had no events to promote um, at the time. It's not your problem. It's not y'all's fault that we had to innovate and pivot. But you know what? It it leads to exciting things. It's led to this Yard of the Month project. It's led to a podcast. It's led to this live show. It's led to Mobile Fit Club. Now it's leading to number five, which is some micro news. Mandy probably wants to punch me in the face right now. No, no, no. no. I love micro um, I'm not going to give you guys more details yet of how we're going to do that, but you're going to start seeing um, – you're gonna start seeing some micro news. It's a way that we can we can deliver deliver local news to you guys. Is so. it is it news about small people? Micro just meaning like, hey, look, I'm not like I'm not al.com. Yeah, like we're the mobile rundown. We're a micro company. So when I say micro news, it's gonna be big news, but on a micro scale. I love it. In short snippets, even. So let me let me give you a hint. It's gonna be sixty seconds or less of news. Okay, TikTok style. That's your hint. Yeah, yeah. TikTok style. <laughs> TikTok style. Maybe even on TikTok. Yeah, I don't, I don't, we'll see. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. All right, sweet. What do we have coming up next? So just excited to share that with you guys. Hey. We're in the middle of Mobile Fit Club. Yeah, and I was about to say my abs are sore. <laughs> my abs are sore too. I'm sore everywhere. So it's not too late. I mean, we did we did start this already. Uh, Mobile Fit Club, like we're in it. We're in day, today's day five for us out of 21. We're doing a mm. three-week Mobile Fit Club. You can get fit with us. Yeah. Get fit with the community, get fit with the city. Um, we had like 70 people say they want to do it. We sure. have much less that are, I think, actually doing it, but that's okay. Hey, we, it's quality over quantity. That's right. We have some awesome people that are joining us 100%. and we are super excited that they are with us. We, um, we encourage right. you to do the program that we're doing. It's a 21 day healthy eating workout plan, but you can do whatever you want to do. We just want to encourage you to get active, stay active and adopt a healthier lifestyle. So 100. that, yeah. So that can, that can start anytime. You can decide to join us today. We don't care. We just want to be, we should be with you guys while we're, Oh, we're miserable and working out. We want to be miserable and working out with you guys. We want y'all to be say miserable. That. We're just kidding. Yeah. We hurt, love it. It, it hurts hurt so good. That's what I like so to say. Yes. It hurts so good. So yes. yeah, if you guys want to do that, find it on the website, but uh, definitely if I, uh, where the action is right now is on our, on the Facebook group, yes. Mobile Fit Club. So you can find that from the website as well. You'll click through to it, but um, why don't I put a link to it right here? Just so yeah. I don't forget while we're kind of, while we're kind of chatting. And like I said, y'all, y'all, y'all. Like I said, y'all. Like I said, y'all. Y'all don't have to do what we're doing. Y'all can do whatever you want to do. We just want to be. We just want to be doing it with you. So yeah, he's gonna throw up. Do the, what you want. Yeah. Do what you want, man. All right, cool. Very cool. And just a reminder to you guys, we know that there are a lot of things happening out there in the community. A lot of things that are in person. A lot of things that are virtual. If you have stuff going on, we want to know about it so we can share it with our viewers, with our readers. Um, we have gone back to we our email newsletter is going out every week now. Um, we're back to we're Boom. yeah we're getting back on track a little bit now that the world I mean the world's eh, whatever new it's world. a brave new world it's man it's a new world it's a brave so new world we're doing what we can to keep up with everything that's going on but we need your help we would love it if you sent us stuff that would be wonderful um so yeah all right sweet so if you have not joined us for the fit club yet. Join us. Hop on with us. We're uh, yeah, we're only day five. Like right now, everyone's doing. Yeah, today we had some ten minute bonus abs. I'm even eating better than I normally do. That's true. It's all for you guys. It's, <laughs> it's all true. to do it with y'all. So just just so you know. So yeah. All right, cool. It's so excited about the Fit Club. Is that Asia? Maybe. I'll we'll have to ask them. Hey, who who are you? Sorry, I'm trying to. Whoop whoop. All right. Yeah. Here we go. All right. So. 
Right. This is going to pull up. Um, so usually we bring ways that you can do good um, for others in the community. And this week we're going to bring you a way that the community is doing good for you. We have good stuff. The Do Some Good Mobile segment. Well, sweet nibble. It's a cut you off there. <laughs> no, that was great. I love that intro. Cool. Um, so at Lot of People Stadium tomorrow morning from, let's see, from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., there will be a food distribution. The Mobile, Mobile County Commission, along with Feeding the Gulf Coast, has gotten together, and they will be giving out meals and food to um, those who are in need. So if that is you or if you know someone who could benefit from that, get on down to Latin People Stadium. It's a first come, first serve situation. Um, really, really awesome. Props to them for doing this. Um, I know that a lot of people have been, things have been tight and a lot of jobs have been lost and it's hard to feed your family. So we are um, super thankful they are doing this. Like I said, tomorrow morning, Latin People Stadium. Sweet food deal. distribution. Yeah, absolutely. Um, they may still need volunteers. If you're interested in doing that, you can reach out to Feeding the Gulf Coast. Um, they will put you to work, I'm sure, if they need you. So, yeah, that is a way that um, Mobile is doing some good. If not, you guys. can always give them some money. Or you can oh, just, they will take your money. Or you can they would love your money. Let people know that you yeah. might know that might need uh, this as well. Just, you know, do whatever do whatever works for you. You know, just let Absolutely. people know. Or just tell people, hey, Feeding the Gulf Coast is doing this cool thing, which yeah. is just promotion for Feeding the Gulf Coast. You know, whatever, whatever works for you. So Absolutely. that's awesome. And love so it. we usually celebrate national days on Friday because there's usually mm -hmm. some like, National Dark Chocolate Chip Cookie Day or something going on. But I think everyone knows what today is. It's Friday, September 11th, and it is a day that most all of us um, will never forget and will always remember. And so today is actually the National Day of Remembrance and Service. Um, so we're not celebrating anything crazy fun today. We just want to remind you guys that um, today is what it is. And, um, you know, let's let's kind of keep Keep that on our minds as we go. And that brings us to our quote of the day. It's quote of the day. Mandy, yeah. Hit us, hit us with this quote. Okay. Mandy. So it's kind of, it's a long one, but it's from Deepak Chopra. Chopra. For me and my family personally, September 11th was a reminder that life is fleeting and permanent and uncertain. Therefore, we must make use of every moment and nurture it with affection, tenderness, beauty, creativity, and laughter. Mm, that's beautiful. Yeah, it is. And I think that it's, you know, sometimes it's like really easy for us to go along in our daily lives and forget um, that the bigger things that are happening in the world or that have happened in the world, um, people are still dealing with trauma and illness and all kinds of like medical issues and, and whatnot from September 11th. Um, a lot of people are still very much affected by that. So Keep them in your thoughts and prayers today as you go along um, and be thankful for our freedom. Uh, life is fleeting. That's the part it that stuck fleeting. out to me. That's the part I talk about like every day. People think I'm crazy or kind of morbid, um, but whatever. I'm like, yeah, 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 I could die this afternoon. No. You're like, stop, don't talk like that. And I'm like, uh, okay, like, could I, could I not potentially get in a car wreck this afternoon? You could. We all could. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Actually, oh, I wish I had it. There was a, a Facebook post, a friend of mine posted, and it was talking about how everyone who all of the thousands of people who went to bed the night of September 10th and that woke up the next day and lost their life. They don't plan on that, mm -hmm. you know, just like we, you know, none of us would. Mm -hmm. um, it was a really jarring post, actually. I wish I, anyway, maybe I can share that next time, but, um, but yeah, guys, so life is fleeting. Mm -hmm. Do something today that will make it memorable. Kill it Ooh. in a good way. Nail it. <laughs> Rock it. Yeah. 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 In a positive yeah. manner. All right, you want to tell us about some things going on? We have things going in, on in and around the town. There's some things going on. Hey, did you guys know that? Uh, <coughs> excuse me, did you guys know that Art Walk is like coming back? I love like, it. They're doing some in-person stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's tonight. Am I right about it? It is tonight, and you are right about that. They still All have right. a little bit of stuff that they are doing virtually for those of you who are not quite ready to get out and about just yet to be amongst the people. But Art Walk officially is it's back. That is crazy. Great. Yeah, I'm I'm totally digging that. Um, yeah, if we didn't have a bunch of young young boys in the night in our house, we should get Art Walk. Maybe we could get maybe we could maybe we could take them with us or something. I don't know. Maybe so. Maybe so, so. Let me pop this up. So this is uh ooh dark mode Facebook. So the uh, Mobile Arts Council has a really good 
image. It's right up at the top of their Facebook page. So I'll put a link. Shout out Mobile Arts Council. I'll um I'll put a link to this to their Facebook page in the uh, in the comment section. Here is what I'll do. And so, so if Art Walk coming back wasn't good enough, they have taken it to the next level. There is a bingo game being played. You can pick up bingo cards at any of the participating merchants um, downtown this evening. And as you go to the different um, retailers and boutiques, all the things that are down there, they will stamp your card. And once you get five in a row, you know how bingo works. You can actually turn in your card for a chance to win a hundred dollar gift card to downtown that downtown has this really cool downtown mobile gift card that you can use at um, participating merchants in and around the downtown area which is so cool that's um, cool yeah so get down there get your card stamped wear your mask do your thing have fun. do your thing and have fun socially yep. distance have a great time so there's more stuff too i'm not going to go into all the detail but we'll just kind of overview them and then make sure you're going to check out all the details uh at our website the mobile rundown but um so cocktails with the critters, Whoop. the virtual auction is today. Yeah, it's just running correct? through September seventeenth. Through okay, that's why I just saw this date, the tenth. Okay, so uh, so it's through the seventeenth. Uh, how how nice is that? So you don't have like two hours to get on there. And do it. Uh, I know. There and look. They have some really awesome things. Y'all definitely probably, need to check it out. Probably actually would increase increase payments. We should probably get a little bit of that. You know, we, we need to check that out on personal level. Anyways, so um, okay. Tomorrow, there's some golf action happening, a third annual Mobilization Trail Golf Tournament, uh, Crew Athlon. Oh, yeah. The Crew that Athlon look, is That looked really like, cool. That looked really cool. Man, the, anybody who does crew, who does rowing, I just I want to give you a virtual high five because yeah. it's hard. All of, all of the athletic things are hard, but, you know, yeah. so they are bringing the first ever Crew Athlon to the Gulf Coast. Yeah. So, the, so it's at Heron Lakes. Yeah. Uh, at the country club. So when I first saw that, I was like, wait a minute, what is this? So they're using their pool. So they're using the pool to do the swim and then they're going to have, I guess, like rowing machines and then there's a run. Yeah. So all right there. So it's like really close, easy to get to. Anyways, that just seemed pretty cool to me. The weather is a little bit less <clears throat> deadly than it was a couple weekends ago. So maybe you can get out there, get out there early. Totally. Enjoy some, some non-heat. Ah, so the, so the tunnels, the towers, 5k run is this mm -hmm. weekend. Mm -hmm. Wow. So that is tomorrow. <laughs> that's tomorrow okay awesome so look we're gonna put a link to all of these in the show notes over here in the comment yeah. section so you guys hop on shop on the website mobilerundown.com uh go find it then so that's cool that's awesome cool stuff coming up i think it's time time for what for, time trivia? for trivia. It's time for trivia it's time for trivia who's pl who's playing today we need to know so here's here's our adjusted rules we're playing no matter what but if we have at least five solidified players we're giving away swag to a winner okay the reason why we're playing no matter what is because i forgot about the people that watch this later yeah and if we don't go ahead and do trivia i feel terrible for them like, i know they're like hey what if they're watching later to do the trivia and there's no trivia it's terrible we couldn't do that so let us know if you're playing. Shout out. Let us know that you're ready for trivia. All right, so we have one official player. Mm -hmm. David says, I am playing. David, you are a trivia master. He's in. Who else is in? Shirt. Can we get Pat. to five before we get started? Decal. It's all for you. I'm in a Sister Hazel song. It's all for you. Are you going to go and Yeah, we found it. Of course. This is what he does, y'all. He gets a song in his head. Immediately, he goes, he Googles it, and he has to listen to it. You guys want to do this? Am I the only one that does this? Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm the only one. All right, five players. Here we got. We got. We got one confirmed. Uh, one confirmed. This is probably going right here. Oh wow, got the video and everything right here. Not this guy. <clears throat> I think I'm playing the sound through here, so we'll. I'll have to watch the whole ad. Alright, how many players? We need some players. Ooh. This song, guys. I know you guys know this one. Running your feet high. Oh, it's so long. I want to take care of it. I think it's sad. I mean, I have the. I love the total vibe. Maybe the calls I'm trying. All for you, man. It's all for you guys. If I win, do I get the actual hat that maybe try to take? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go straight to you. You get that hat, man. Yeah. Although you might not want the actual shirt unless it's in your size. But shirt, decal, and hat. Word. Come on, guys. All right. So we can see that you guys are watching. 
We know you want to play. We see it's you. mobile based trivia. If you've lived here for 20 minutes, guaranteed you can win this trivia. 100%. And our winning doesn't really mean like you got to get it right. Basically, we just want warm bodies throwing out answers. David, we're gonna have to get, we're gonna have to get going. So there's not gonna be an official prize, but we're doing trivia nonetheless. We're gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna be the one to answer. Yeah, okay, well, this is for the people. Later. You and David. Well, I mean, I can see the answers there. Right? No, 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 just don't look at the screen. Are you gonna copy them for me, or are you just? Oh, okay, me versus Dave. David, you and me, man. Let's go, and whoever else plays later. Yeah. Go, man, you go. Wants to, okay. All right. So, so maybe I'll type the question. You can ask question. I'll type it. All right. Well, okay. I'll, see if I can do this. I'm gonna. Yeah. Okay, I need you to. Oh, I scroll down. <laughs> well, this is hard, man. I can't uh, do five things. Lot, I mean. lot. Woo! Go up, up, up. Right. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm cheating. I'm sorry, David. It's not even on purpose, man. It's not on purpose. David, we're going to see how much you know. And you, we we know other people are watching. David, no pressure. Yeah. You're, you're probably gonna, maybe going to answer some questions. <laughs> All right. Question <laughs> numero uno. Mobile became a city when it was founded in 1539 by the Spanish explorer Fernando de Soto. True or false? Oh, we got two David players. Stevenson. Oh, it's David versus David. Uh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> At least two mono e mono. True or false? Mobile became a city when it was founded in 1539 by the Spanish explorer Fernando de Soto. Mono e mono. Let's do like, let's do like five questions. Or whatever. This is so on. good, though. Cool. And we got a false. I need the in between music. Hold on. Is this so? <clears throat> yeah, whatever. Awesome. I thought you were bringing it on. It's dead time. It's what they it, call dead time. Dead time. On the true. Air. We've got a true. We've got a false. I'm true to false. One more time. Mobile became a city when it was founded in 1539 by the Spanish explorer Fernando de Soto. Answer that is. That would be false. Answer is false. Woo -woo. So which one? Which day like we got that? David like Carpenter. Like All right. Like woo -woo. Good. So good. Woo -woo. <laughs> woo -woo. Rad. All right. Next question. <laughs> Oh, that should be. Oh, okay. Never mind. All right. So in 1723, a military fort was built in the city of Mobile. The fort protected against attack for nearly 100 years before it was decommissioned. What was the name of this fort? Mm. Oh, okay. You want to read it again? No. No. One comes to mind. It's right there. This is speed trivia, man. Oh, oh, oh. Like speed dating? Yeah. Speed round, lightning round. Actually, I'm kind of interested. If anybody who is listening, watching, if anybody has gone to a speed dating event, I kind of want to know about it. Well, we were talking about, we were talking about, uh, oh, Fort Conkle. I dig this one. Whoop, whoop, Fort Conkle. That's a great answer. Yeah, we're, uh, we were talking about creating a uh, speed dating event. You and a friend were here. Oh, yeah. We're look. I know a lot of single ladies, a lot of really great single ladies. I just don't know the single men. So, yeah. I'm a single lady. I'm a single lady. I wanted to put it up. I put an event together to bring these singles with these singles yep. to mingle. Yep. Anyway, all right. So, what was the answer, Brooks Conkle? Uh, Fort Condi. Fort Condi. Mm -hmm. Question. It's going. All right. What is the name of the, the treaty that was made that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, okay, I'm going to read it off of this. What is the name yeah. of the treaty that made Mobile part of the Spanish region of West Florida in 1783? I would not get this one. The treaty that made Mobile part of the Spanish region of West Florida in 1783. Where is, uh, Where's Christopher Andrews when I need him? Oh. This guy would be like, bam, bam, bam. Bites, bam. He'd take it all, it all down. Or... Cart Blackwell. Cart. Cart, are you listening? Cart, if you're out there. Cart knows. I know you know all these answers. I know you know all these answers. Ooh, look at these answers these guys are throwing out here. Treaty of I Paris. love it. Bienvenido Treaty. So, David Carpenter. Answer is. You are. Bam. Treaty of Paris. Correct. <clears throat> Bienvenido Treaty. I love it. I love it. Great job, guys. Ooh, Bienvenido Treaty. We need a bamboo treaty. 100%. Question. What is the name of the university established in Mobile in 1963? The university sports teams are known as the Jaguars. Mm. This is it. This, this is the kind of question I can get. 
These are what we call the gimmies. Hey, you know, if you're not from here. Actually, 100%. Yeah, you could like just move here. You wouldn't have a clue if you weren't like hadn't been around a while. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you kind of have to be from here, have some good knowledge. To know yeah. What's up on this one? What is the name of the university established in Mobile in 1963? Remember, there's no wrong answers in our game. I mean, there are, but like not, not. Not really. Not our aim. Yeah. Um, like oh, creativity. David Stevenson, you weren't born here? Where were you born, honey? Yeah, David, where were you born? Answer. I think we know the answer here. USA. University of South Alabama. All right, next question. Question. What is the name of the U.S. battleship which serves as a museum in Mobile Bay? Ooh. You know that one? Yeah. Yeah, that one. We can't say that out loud. Okay. This is David well, versus David. <clears throat> I like this. I like this David David thing. Yeah. What mm -hmm. is the name of the U.S. battleship which serves as a museum mm -hmm. in Mobile Bay? Yep. Oh, David, you're from, you're an Alabamian still. You're from Huntsville. That's I thought awesome. that was the answer. I was like incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Yeah, that was my first thought. No, you're from Huntsville. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have not been to Huntsville. I've heard, I mean, I've definitely driven through, but I have not like visited Huntsville. We've stopped at the rest. Area. I've heard it's I've heard it's pretty cool. Yeah. I've heard Huntsville's got it going on. I have been to Huntsville for a wedding. Answer, USS <gasps> Alabama. You Good did job. What? I've been to Huntsville for a wedding. Really? Yeah, it's true. I don't remember much that's of it. Legit. It was like 20 okay. years ago, but that's okay. All right. In 1986, a popular fast food chain was founded in Mobile, Alabama. What? What was it? Is it true? What is it? What is it? What was it? I got it right, man. Oh, it. really? I knew that. I forgot, but I knew this. I did not know this, yeah. actually. This is this is news to me. <clears throat> Do you want to give a hint? Uh oh. Okay. In 1986, a popular fast food chain was founded in Mobile, Alabama. What is it? What was it? It mm. is. What is it? We've got a we've got it's a checkers answer. All right. Checkers. How do y'all know that? Yeah. Good job, guys. Good job. Is that common knowledge? I've just missed uh, it. May, maybe. I I kind of forgot about it, but when you asked, that would have been my guess because I remember reading that like an article and being like, wow, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Checkers are a good one. I dig their fries. I have not been there in quite some time. Yeah. Why have checkers? You know, they have Coming the up. fries in the frozen section, of the, but they're just not the same. I, like I agree. Home, they're not the same. Just go to the drive Because you don't come home and beat from them and whatever they beat from them. That's why. I'm pretty sure that's the, uh, pretty sure yeah. that's the reason. The baked checkers fries are, yeah, not so great. Okay. Oh, we're on to the next question. On yeah. September 12th. I'm rolling, man. Which would be tomorrow. Technically. In 1979, a major hurricane caused terrible damage to the city of Mobile. What was the name of that hurricane? This, I mean, September 12th, seven, oh, 1979. Major hurricane caused terrible damage <laughs> to the city of Mobile. What was the name of that hurricane? I can tell you this. I would not have spelled the name correctly. Personally. Wait. Look at this. Whoop, whoop. Look at this spelling. Oh, my God. Goodness, that is amazing. Yeah, you, yeah, that's exactly what I would do, David. You and me, 100%. I saw that I actually was spell checking this answer before I before I posted it because I was like, yeah, there's, no way, there's no way this is right. But apparently, good job, guys. Apparently, they do have some good apple pies. Oh, the apple pies, the fries. David, they used to have this deal. I don't think they do it anymore. They had this deal that was like four items for like three dollars oh my i see why they stopped doing it because it's like i'm pretty sure they're losing money every time they sold it to me but i got like a small coke checker fry apple pie and like a checker burger I swear it was like three dollars or something you're there for the deal i got at least two or three of those yeah and then they the last one went there like oh we don't do that anymore i was like yeah i see why <laughs> i totally see why you don't do that one anymore so good so good totally agree with you david in fact you got bonus points for adding that k that's right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. my grandfather's name is frederick with a k with the e r c k yeah which e is e -R -I -C -K. I'd say it's pretty typical it's pretty yeah typical. right all right two more questions no one more question this is it this is the last one one more question yeah. this is final question all right final Lighting question round. Folks who have seen the movie Forrest Gump may recognize Greenbow, Alabama as Forrest's hometown. In the book, his hometown was a more realistic Mobile, Alabama. The story was written by a gentleman who once lived in the Mobile area. What was his name? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, this one's just spelled wrong. <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, where'd you get that from? Did you, you probably typed that. Oh, yeah. No, actually, I didn't. This was from our previous operations manager. That's okay. All right. No, we're yeah. copy and paste, type, cool. Who wrote Forrest Gump? Winston Groom. Winston Groom filmed in Savannah Ooh, because fact. of the unpredictable weather. I like it. Where? Down here? Yeah. I guess. We are, yeah. Now we are a little unpredictable. It would take 17 years to. So we had we had the answer as Grom with one one O, and I was like, "Is this like Frederick? Does he have an interesting? Yeah, I know, no. Does he have an interesting name spelling? Graduate of UMS. I'd, I'd read that before. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. Go Bulldogs. Bulldogs and Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I should know these things. We're playing them tonight, St. Paul's. I Love said it. we, you know. Anyway, um, okay. Are you guys ready for the winner? Oh, we have a winner? Yeah. Out of these two guys? Oh, wait. Oh, you said we couldn't win. We're not giving them a prize, but sure, if you want to pick one up. Hey, and if you're playing this in the future, you're the winner. Yeah, we needed five people. Come on. Well, for, for a prize. But you can still, hey, if you're announcing it, I have the winner. No, wait. The winner is <gasps> David. <laughs> David, you win. Congratulations. I love it. Proud of you, David. Yeah. David, you're pretty good. So proud of Go you. Go Jackets. Oh, we have a McGill McGill so fan or McGill proud graduate. Of you. But um, uh, yes. fun fact the mobile. All right, the fun fact of the day is oh, You just took it from me. I'm so sorry. Check this out, guys. I don't know if you knew this or not. But Bellingrad Gardens and Home is the 65 acre public garden and historic home. Of Walter and Bessie Bellingrath. Walter Bellingrath was actually one of the first Coca-Cola bottlers in the Southeast. And with his wealth, he built the gardens in the house. How cool is that? Was that like your was that your reading voice? Was your reading method? I was trying to make it as interesting as possible. I know. Oh, well, Did so that work? Because it was kind of long. Yeah, it was very long. So. It wasn't like, my Bill's bird is the yellow hammer. It was like, oh, that's true. Wait, is that yeah. Mobile or is that Alabama? Oh, Alabama. Okay, Alabama's sure. bird. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> David, cool. congratulations. Congratulations, all David. All the Davids that are out there. David, you guys rock. Yep, 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 yep. So we're rock. really excited cool. about Monday's show. We're going to be back Monday morning at 9 a.m. We're going to have Angela Levins with Dolphin Island Sea Lab on with us. Ooh. Yes, she is fantastic. She's going to let us know everything that's happening down there um, this fall, which is really exciting. They are um, they are moving, rolling forward with their events and some things, the programs that they have. So we're excited to hear from her. Love it. I love it too. If you still want to join us for Mobile Fit Club, let us know. Send us a send us an email. Hop on Mobile Fit Club um, on the send us a little DM. The, yeah, with the group on Facebook, um, we would be excited to see you guys there. For those of you who are watching but weren't playing trivia, we know who you are. No, we don't actually. No, I, I, we actually don't know who you are. <laughs> We're not sure, but we know that there's <laughs> more lying. than two people here. So we're really excited um, to have those of you who are listening and watching. We're, we want you to guys join. We want you guys to join us on Friday of next week for some more trivia. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll do it again. Same time, same place. Yeah. Well, yeah. Same place. I think next week. Yeah. It's getting time. crazy. All right, guys. Take care. We love you. Have a wonderful weekend. Get out there and pound sign. Do mobile responsibly. Ooh. Take care. <laughs>